Let me ask you about what Nikki Haley, our ambassador to the United Nations, had to say in the wake of the uh, Syrian uh, chemical uh, attacks on, on uh, the women and children and civilians there. Um, she said, among other things, she first she held up pictures um, of uh, some of the children uh, victims of that attack. She said that Russia is involved and engaged in a false narrative of the situation there. She said Russia and Syria have no interest in peace and that if the U.N. won't act on Syria, we may. What do you make of all that? Well, clearly what Assad has been doing, and I can't quite understand or figure out why he would be doing this. Clearly, they're making progress in this war, but why go to, uh, you know, why use chemical weapons? Uh, why terrorize your own civilians, especially uh, with his hope and expectation that one day again he will have all of these civilians under his control? So I can't understand him. Uh, clearly, someone's going to have to step up. Uh, against Assad. I think this administration was more than willing uh, to move forward and defeat the jihadis, to defeat the radical Islamists in, uh, in Syria and let Assad stay in power. Uh, but, you know, with these kinds of actions, uh, you know, it's just going to complicate everything, complicate what happens once we defeat the jihadists in Syria. It's going to complicate what can we do with Russia in other parts of uh, the Middle East where radical jihadists are a, a threat. Uh, it, it's very, very hard to understand and explain. Uh, you know, there was kind of a path that you could, you know, you, you might be troubled going down it, but you could see going down that path. Uh, now there's all kinds of roadblocks. I don't know how you increase your coordination with Russia and how you leave Assad in power, even though no one has laid out a good plan. Right. That says once Assad's gone, here's what Syria is going to look like. Right, and and Donald Trump did not run on solving the Syrian situation. Uh, it's a right. failure of Obama's administration, even as so, especially insofar as uh, getting rid of the chemical uh, weapons or the chemicals that they could use to weaponize, because he said that was achieved and it wasn't. But what when when she says we may, if the UN won't act, we may. Uh, do you sense militarily? Um, well, I mean, the you know economic sanctions aren't going to have much of an impact. Uh, so you know, but again, what are your options militarily? Uh, you know, are you going to go in there? You've got Russian troops fighting alongside, uh, you know, or Russian f planes flying alongside uh, Assad's troops on the ground. Uh, Syria is one ugly mess. I don't understand exactly maybe what Nikki's saying, or I don't really see any good options. Uh, in Syria, I don't think Donald Trump is going to put U.S. boots on the ground uh, to defeat Assad in Syria. Yep.